RaceFit. Um, the company is RaceFit, and it is a MOSFET. It is a MOSFET rectifier. Um, I can feel heat coming from it, but it's not. It's not significantly a lot. Um, it's been on probably an hour, so I can put my hand on the rectifier. There is heat coming from it. Now, when I had the, uh, you know, the cheap rectifier on the frame, you could feel the frame heat up over 100, 100 degrees, and in the hot weather, it was uh, way too much. So, this is a MOSFET um, universal rectifier, and it has two, it has a three phase coming in right here, and I've made all connectors. Um, with your basic wiring harness connector and um, if you can see it right there it's a six it's a six plug but uh, here I'll show you what it looks like it's basically a six plug that you do three of them like that with the uh, I filled uh, I filled the Loctite go-to glue uh, in between it so you can see it's solid so it won't cross over and there is the there is the standard Honda plugs or the standard Honda wiring harness. So uh, that I want to get away from the engine and keep air flowing on it so that it doesn't heat up. So plugs right in and it's got air coming on it. Now, um, the only thing I did differently was relocated in the back area here. So I had another, I had a CBR, actually I had a VFR 800 OEM rectifier on here. And it worked pretty good for about two years, but it, I don't think they last as long as the MOSFET. The MOSFET um, produces a lot less heat and they tend to, uh, they, when it comes to amplifying, um, the MOSFET is superior to any other type of amplification other than step up or step, step up transformer induction um, you know kinda like a TFT you know a TFT is when you get over like uh, that amplification is like 10,000 volts you know or uh, something really big a transformer uh, is gonna be like 220 volts AC and you're stepping it down but um, yeah so one of the DC as you can see it has three three phase coming in which is the three yellow like all of them but um, all these wires should be on one harness um, what I did was I split them up so that one of them like this one feeds directly to the battery so this this one's feeding the battery and the other one is feeding the battery and the system so the other one is feeding the system and the battery but as a backup, this one's feeding the battery full time so that that battery uh, is going to stay charged regardless. So that's the, uh, I think that is the, old, that is the ideal setup. You know, you get your two, your two 12 volt output, which is, uh, you know, the race fit universal MOSFET rectifier. And it has the two output on it. And one goes into your system like usual on your wiring harness. And like I said, you just make your own. And then um, the other feeds a battery. And then that seems to work so far. We'll see this summer when the temperature, you know, starts to skyrocket up there. And you run it all day long. You know, you're going to get some heat in this thing uh, once you run it all day long. So your oil's got to be, your oil's got to be solid and uh, you know all your electronics needs to be solid um, when it comes to heat like that the number one issue is your compression you want to keep as high as as high as your compression as you can because um, you know your your air your air and your spark um, are dulled when the temperature starts to get up there so uh, the colder the air the the better the the better the combustion but with uh, heat like about 
you know, with the with the, with the heat in tropical climates, it, it becomes a real big issue, and you got to have it. You got to have it bulletproof. So I think this is as bulletproof as you're going to make it. Now I'm not using a standard. I'm not using an OEM uh, stator. I use a uh, Electro. I think it's Electro Sport or something like that. It's a heavy duty one, and the heavy duty one's beefed up for the high temperature. That's the only difference compared to the OEM. So you can tell the difference between the heavy duty one. You can't see it, but uh, it's got a heavy duty stator and it's got a MOSFET now with two 12 volts coming out. It measures about 14.5 most of the time. So 